guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 8 of Butchie the Rock. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Jesus Christ, they would have, like, a fucking hurricane. Mm. Be like, hey, you still gotta come to work. What? <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. They might be. Do you want to get sick? Like, dang. No. Mm. Yeah, but inside, you think she crying the most? Oh my god. <laughs> Really, we bochi moon now? <laughs> Aww. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, Butchie. <laughs> Butchie! But that's okay. It, it's something better than nothing. That all that, that's all that matters. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What well, damn. Yeah, people are like that though. Mm-hmm. Be positive.
Damn. Oh. <laughs> She's so drunk. <laughs> I felt like somebody else gonna leave again. That was so smart! Oh my god, he got this fuck! Oh! Well, one of them got off the One or two of them, they got off their phones. That's all I care about, Jesus, for five seconds. Get off the damn phone. God damn, that was good. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, I thought she was drinking again. <laughs> Once again, we're, we're going to go back on the topic of beer. I don't, I've never had beer. I don't even like the smell of beer. But is it that good? I mean, damn. It must be. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Mm-hmm. Besides, you already have two. Well, Bochi has two, but then that kind of counts for all of you. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Please go eat! Yeah, that drink does look good. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Bochi, what you getting? Yep, say that five times fast. Okay. This is true. So you wanted just potatoes and french fries? Damn. I got me some goza or some shit. Or, you know, some dumplings. Oh my god, dumplings sound good. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. (laughs) I'm about to say. No, we don't want that. Mm-mm. But she- <laughs> oh my god, we're doing another stop much. <laughs> Fun baby. Yeah, it's just typical. It happens. Yeah!
Yeah, I, I really think. <laughs> oh my god! Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you'll stress yourself out. You do it for fun. The money is like the second, third thing. Trust me. You know, hey. Money good, yeah. But, you know, having fun and being in the moment with your passions, like, that's number one. Yeah, she did walk out. You sure? I'll go on her Twitter page. <laughs> No. Yeah. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.
they really just did that. Oh my god. much right now. Jesus Christ. I love the fact that she literally was like, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and self-inflict the fucking title of the show in here. That's nice. Like, oh my god. But, oh, uh, even though their first performance as a group and first concert as the group together wasn't the greatest. They still did a damn good job. That's all that freaking matters at the end of the day. Yes, she kind of got maybe a little bit more fans and, you know, people finally got off their fucking phones because at the end of the day, for like five seconds, please get off your phone and just be in the moment. Like, it, it, it's like how, okay. This happened, what, last, I think last week or the week before Thanksgiving, my boss was like, you know, we should all be like such and such, one of my empl uh, <laughs> co-workers, and she's, <laughs> he was like, oh, she's not on her phone, da 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 throughout the how many hours she's at her shift. I was like this. I, I looked at my phone, I looked at my boss, and I went back to my phone like, mm-mm, that could not be me. I don't think I could literally... Because I listen to music or podcasts on my phone, I can't look at my phone. Well, technically, because I have my Fitbit, I can also look at my Fitbit, but guys, I still need my phone. Everybody still needs their phone. Like, oh my God. But I'm happy it was still good. I mean, Jesus Christ. Everybody, even with the mistakes that they did do, because there were mistakes, Overall, everybody did a damn good job. I, I love the fact that, you know, yeah, we got a connection between, um, What's Your Race's Sister and the Redhead Chick because I, I was expecting something. Like, honestly, I would, at first, before we got the answer, I was kind of thinking that they were in a band together with the dark haired girl. And then, you know, due to reasons, they all separated mainly because she wanted, you know, to do, open up st a story and such, but no, like, okay, like, yes, I'm glad it stopped raining, oh my god, because, yes, yeah, usually, <laughs> if you wish long enough and be happy, yes, it'll stop raining, but damn, this was, this was a really sweet episode, you almost got me, almost got me to cry, like, I, I'm very emotional, now I can see, as the tweet that I tweeted about, like, what, almost an hour ago, I was like, yeah, I haven't seen the episode, I, I saw a picture, a bochi and each gets together and I was like I feel like this is going to be an emotional moment so I was like yeah I haven't seen the episode yet but something tells me we're gonna get an emotional moment where I might cry or just be like oh <laughs> oh we got it <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we got that shit but I'm really excited I'm guessing from the I mean, for the preview of this, probably next week it's going to be a beach episode. I mean, of course, like, when it comes to the Kiddo Fantasy series and the manga time for this <laughs> for this entirety of Kiddo Fantasy, there's always a beach episode. We all know it's coming and such. And this also reminds me that, yes, DJ, we need to go ahead and re-download even though one minute that game is like block, unblock, block, unblock, block, unblock. So yes, because your girl will literally play for these characters. I mean, I played the game before in the past, like with other like characters. So literally, um, the maid cafe show that I literally cannot think about the title of. Hold on. Nope, still can't get it. I just remember the opening song and seeing it every fucking week. And then, like, any other series that they've created that I've seen is also in it. So, yeah, like, because, mm, yeah, there was a card. There was a written card from, you know, Laid Back Camp. Really good card. I had that card. And then my dumb ass was like, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to play this game anymore. And I deleted the game. So, you know, rip the Rin card. The best freaking card in the dang game. And then it was worse when, um both season one and season two of um, The Demon Girl Next Door aired and how <laughs> Momo and Shamiko, aka my ship. So if you, if you haven't seen that show either, go watch the show. The show's funny as fuck. 
Um, <laughs> and almost every freaking art that they had for those two, they were always paired together. And I'm just like, yes, look at my little ship right here. Like, oh my god. But yeah, I'm probably going to end up playing that game because, of course, these girls are going to be featured in it next. Heck, they could probably be featured in it now. We could be having this conversation and... <clears throat> the Kita Fantasia game could literally have a promo out right now on Twitter. Being like, hey! <laughs> Look, he's deciding to join us, but other than that, guys, that is the Reactive Retorts episode 8 of Book to the Rock. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join my squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 9. Bye, guys!